Hey friends, Ellie here. Today we are going to be working on styling a wig for Ladybug from the TV show Miraculous Ladybug. This is one of my favorite TV shows right now. It's on Netflix and season two is about to be released this Friday and I cannot wait to watch it and see what's gonna happen. I'm also gonna be wearing my Ladybug costume at SoccerCon, which also happens this weekend. So it's totally kismet. I can't wait to show you guys how we make this wig. There's some really cool techniques, but it's also super easy to do. So you can be Ladybug if you want to. So let's hop right in and get started. To start off, we're going to be using a chibi from Arta Wigs in dark blue. I'm stuffing the back of the wig with some scrap fabric right now, so that way it'll fit my head when I put it on, since wig heads are a lot smaller than most human heads. And now I'm going to be pinning around the entire edges of the wig, and I'm going to be stretching the elastic as we do this. Like I said, a wig head is a lot smaller than a human wig, and I want to make sure that this will cover all of my hair once it's pulled up into its pigtails. Now that we have everything pinned into place, we're going to start putting our wig into two pigtails. Since this wig is already split down the back, we don't have to worry about that. We just have to make sure that they're both at about the same height. Otherwise it can look a little bit wonky. To tie up these pigtails, I'm just using a basic hair elastic since they're going to be covered with our hair bands a little bit later. As I'm working on these pigtails, I'm brushing back the slicked back part of the wig to make sure that it is flat and not bumply. She's a magical girl. Her hair should look perfect, right? Once we have both of our pigtails in place and we think that they're even enough, I'm going to begin teasing her pigtails. This is how we're going to get that poofy look, but still make it so I can restyle the wig whenever I need to. So teasing is just brushing backwards on a wig. So rather than brushing the normal way to get tangles out, we are adding tangles. This gives a lot of volume, but it's also light and adds no sort of heaviness or bulky texture at all. A good thing to remember about teasing is to make it a lot bigger than you want it to be at first because as you brush it into place and make it look the shape that you want it to look, it's going to lose a lot of its volume. Once I've teased the inside of the pigtails, I'm going to brush the top layer until it's smooth. This way our pigtails look nice and not like big rat tails. Once I'm happy with their shape, I'm going to hit it with a whole bunch of hairspray to make sure it stays into place. I also go inside the layers where I've teased it and hit that with hairspray too. This wig was styled before for Marinette, so it's already been trimmed to the right length, but I do trim off a few extra hairs. If your wig hasn't been trimmed, now is the time to do it. To help keep my pigtails in place while I'm at a convention and moving around, I'm going to be using a hairnet to hold them together. I'm simply wrapping this hairnet around the pigtail, and I'm trying to make sure that it doesn't affect the shape too much or show up that much when I look at it from the front. Once I have the hairnet where I like it, I wrap the extra length around the pigtail base, and then I pin it into place with a bobby pin so it won't go anywhere. After that, I trim off any loose ends and I spray the whole thing with a generous coat of hairspray. So we simply repeat that process for the other pigtail and try to make it match as closely as possible. Once the pigtails are finished, I brush out the bangs and the sideburns and trim off any loose threads or hairs. I also brush off the baby hairs in the back, which are great to cover any loose hairs you might have while wearing this wig. Now we're going to be adding Marinette's hair ties. These are made of the same material as my costume, which is a stretch pleather from the Yaya Han line at Joann's Fabrics. It is an awesome fabric. I really loved working with it. But anyway, we're going to just stretch this around our pigtail. It's okay to smoosh the pigtail a little bit because that teasing is still in there and you'll be able to pull it back apart and make it poofy again. We want to make sure that this hair tie covers as much of that hairnet base as possible so we don't have a big black line. 
and then we can poof out our pigtails again by pulling apart the teasing. After attaching our hair ties and poofing out our pigtails, our wig is now finished and you are ready to go save Paris! I love this wig so much. I think it is so fun to wear. These poofy pigtails are just awesome, and I totally feel like Ladybug whenever I put it on. I hope you enjoyed learning how we styled it. Like I said, it is a pretty simple style, so if you're new to wig styling, this is a great place to start out. If you do style a wig following this tutorial, please let me know. Put a post in the comments below so I can see your work. I would love to see what you do. So until next time, keep sewing, stay positive, and have fun. I'll see you all later. Bye!